Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. I've got a little flip through to do for you today. Um, this is a little book that was made by um, Vicki at Messy Table Studios and was given to me and I absolutely fell in love with it. It's just, it's small, I love the size, I love how sturdy it is, the pages are really sturdy. And so I just, I decided to go ahead and do a, like a grab and glue in here. And I wanted to show you how it turned out. So this first, uh, the cover, the front and the back are um, jelly prints that Vicki has done. And all of the papers, the backgrounds in here are jelly printed papers from Vicki. Um, here's my first page. I'm not really going to say much. I'm just going to kind of flip through. Give you a minute to look at it. Thought I want. I'm gonna say something here. <laughs> I thought I wanted more words, but you know what? I thought. Mm -mm. A wonderful weekend. Never ever ever settle. Um, a lot of this is just either stickers or scraps of paper. Um, what I did on this page is I actually did a whole bunch of journaling um, before I put my words on. Um, I had already had the paper on and I just journaled around the paper. And then this rose. I thought that rose was beautiful. Another couple of pages. Of all things which wisdom provides to make life entirely happy, the greatest is the possession of friendship. And imagine, home for the arts, imagine is here. Um, these are actual, what I call scribble flowers. I'll sit at night with a dictionary and just scribble things and color them all in. And yes, the um, black does run because I do that on purpose. I make them with an elegant writer. But yeah, I put harmonious, wonderful, fun. Because it is. It's a lot of fun doing those. This one is just a little mod podge of pretty much everything. <laughs> um, yeah, just had fun with this. Count your blessings. And then to do, I don't know. Just playing. This is a doodle page. Now, I'm just going to let you guys know this is the one and only <laughs> doodle page you're going to find um, from me. I'm not a huge doodler. I love my circles. I love my lines. But as far as, you know, doing this kind of thing all over a page, this drove me crazy doing this. But I was challenged by Miss Vicki from Messy Table Studios to do a doodle page. So there it is. First, last, and only. All right, this is just an array of things. Again, I was just playing. This one says family, and this one says energy. So just playing around. <laughs> this is my sense of humor. <laughs> For some reason, I put this tree on here, and then I put all these little eyes on here. Why? I have no idea. Then when I came back to finish the page, I was like, Hmm, what am I going to do with this? And this plans was already here also, so I thought, we are on vacation and want to go sightseeing. And I just thought that was kind of funny, so that's my humor. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun to play with. Let your soul fly. Made a tree out of clouds and out of a piece of scrap paper. Believe with the Buddha. This one was fun. Did some journaling again on this. Um, more journaling there. Dream. And then I just, this is a Jane Davenport. I'm sure you guys recognize this. It's a sheet or a napkin in the background that I used. And I just had fun playing. This one I really love. Um, this is done with foil. And I get my foil from Creative Vision. And her name is Laura, and I just absolutely love this tricolor, um, or not tricolor, rainbow color foil. And it just, see, isn't that beautiful? And then I had this in my stash. It says, my wings are broken, my halo is bent, and my horns are showing. Yet, it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> or yet, yeah, it's going to be one of those days. Yeah, I've had a lot of days like that. I just thought that was kind of cool. 
Um, again, a Mod Podge, hodgepodge, whatever you want to call it. Um, focus on what you can do and love. Odds and ends. These were cut out of an art studio magazine or Somerset Studio magazine. I think they were on someone else's piece of art and I just cut little pieces out and put them in my grab and glues. These are designs from Gina Aaron's. Check out her um, Etsy store. This is actually one of Gina's stamps as well. Endless. And news. I just had this little picture and I thought she looked cute sitting there up on that little pier. Again, this here and this is again from like an art studio magazine or I'm sorry, Somerset Studio Magazine or an art journaling magazine. Um, and again, I just tear them apart and use them in them. And then the back cover. So did I get it all? I think I did. Let's make sure. Sometimes these pages like to stick together. Um, I just want to make sure that I did get all of them for you. Yep. Okay. All right. So just a little flip through of a book from Messy Table Studios. If you want to learn how to make some books, boy, she's good at it. Let me tell you, she's really good. Um, check out her YouTube channel, which is called Messy Table Studios. And again, thank you, Vicki. I had a blast playing in this journal. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, guys. Bye.